Hello guys. Good day. What's up? Welcome again to this channel. This is uh, my channel is Padre Kela. In uh, today's video, I would like to share how to fabricate an elbow, a fabricated elbow. How to make it? In this video, I will uh, explain how to compute, how to get the dimension, uh, what are the formulas to take the measurement, how to lay out, lay out on five, how to cut, and uh, how to fit up. And I know that uh, some pipe Peter knows already about this, but if you are uh, new and uh, don't know what is the idea to make uh, an elbow, just watch this uh, video till the end and uh, I know you will learn from this video. When we are outside, sometimes uh, we are advised by our supervisor to make an elbow. So, what uh, we will do now is uh, this is a 3 inch regular elbow, meaning uh, elbow, long radius, and uh, 3 inch. And the uh, first thing, the value that we need to know is uh, 3 inch, um, our uh, radius is 44.45, our outside the diameter is 88. Point nine. So, if it's uh, because our three inch is nominal pipe size, and nominal pipe size is uh, outside diameter is different from uh, actual size. Meaning, uh, if it's three inch, it is uh, three point five in actual outside diameter. So 3.5 times uh, 25.4, it's become uh, 88.9. And uh, now uh, we will take the takeoff. The takeoff for 3 inch is 114. So I have uh, make a layout here. It is actual size of 3 inch elbow. So uh, what we will do is uh, three inch uh, three wheel three wheel elbow for pieces for piece three wheel elbow. So what we need to know is our take off take off meaning from here center and up to center of the elbow is 114 our uh, take up is 114 so to know what is the our angle of cut now we have three wheel this is our wheel wheel the uh, point so to determine what is the degree of our weld is uh, this formula 90 degree our elbow divided by 3 meaning uh, 3 wheels 1, 2, 3 and we get the degree of 30 degrees 90 degree divided by 3 
So now we need to know what is the angle of cut because our weld is uh, joined by two angles, two angle of cut. So our angle of cut is 30 degrees divided by two equals 15 degrees. So now we have uh, 15 degrees angle of cut. Uh, 30 degrees angle of wheel now uh, what are the next uh, we need to know is we need to determine what is the measurement of this M1 because when we're getting when we're making elbow this part bigger parts are M1 we have four pieces uh, in our uh, elbow so M1 is the center and this uh, side which is the small piece is our M2 and this other one is also M2 and uh, our question is how can we get the M1? M1 is uh, determined by our formula to get the cord length. We use the cord length here because uh, as, as you see, I draw a one-fourth circle here, meaning it's 90 degrees and our uh, arc length is this but um, since our pipe is straight what we need to get is the cord length and our formula for uh, to get the cord length is sine degree di divided by 2 uh, multiplied by the elbow radius elbow radius meaning it, it is our uh, takeoff and multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 so this is our uh, degree of cut is 30 D divided by 2 times radius what is our radius our radius for uh, our take up elbow take up is 114 and then multiplied by 2 so we will try it compute so our degree is uh, our formula is sine 15 degrees multiplied by 114 then multiplied by 2 equals so this is this is our M1 our M1 is 59 so this is so our me measurement here is 59 and here here is 59 and now we are uh, finished with our uh, M1 so how we can get the measurement for M2 our M2 is uh, divided by 2 so if 59 59 divided by 2 equals 29.5 so our uh, M2 is 29.5 29.5 and also here on this side 29.5 so now we already get the dimension for this uh, for fish so by this 
we can uh, determine how long is the pipe we need so by adding this uh, four piece 29 plus 59 plus 59 and then uh, 29 our total is 178 so it is uh, the length of the pipe we need to fabricate a 3 inch elbow so now we have already the M1 we have already the length of our pipe so what we need to know now is what are the cutback meaning the cutback is the dimension from the center this is the center and up to this point so how we can get the cutback our formula is uh, to get the cutback is tangent degree multiplied by outside radius of the pipe so what th this degree is our degree of cut and our degree of cut is 15 degree so to get the cut back we will try by using this formula tangent uh, degree by multiplied by uh, outside radius and our outside radius of the pipe is 44.45 so we will round it by 45 so our formula is tangent 15 degree multiplied by 45 mm and our cutback here is 12 mm and also here 12 mm and same here also because uh, they are uh, the same angle 12 mm also and also here 12 mm also here 12 mm and also in this point 12 mm so now we have already the cutback but uh, this is our uh, highest uh, dimension for cutback but now our pipe our outside the uh, circumference of 3 inch our uh, 3 inch is divided our uh, outside circumference is divided into 12 so if we divide it by 12 meaning in every division there is a degree our center line is 0 the next to 0 because uh, we divided it by 16 uh, division so meaning uh, we have 90 degrees and uh, our 90 degree we divided it into four so uh, every division we have 25 22.5 degrees 45 67 degrees and then 90 so how we divide it our outside the circumference uh, we can get by outside diameter of the pipe multiplied by pi 
with this uh, 3.1416 and uh, here is 88.9 multiplied by 3.1416 and 279 so our outside uh, total circumference of our pipe is 279 so 279 we divide it into 279 we divided it into divided it into 16 equals uh, meaning our division from here up to here is 17.5 17.43 mm uh, we round up into 17 so every division we have 17 mm so we already divided into 16 division what we need to know is we will get the dimension for 67 degrees and also the dimension for 45 degrees and the dimension for 22.5 degrees here is our formula to get the dimension for that is sine sine degree multiplied by our cutback uh, which is 12 mm so we will compute this because this is our degree 67 degree 45 degree and 22.5 so sine 67.5 multiplied by multiplied by 12 so our degree for 67.5 is 11 mm so we have uh, 12 mm on the top 11 mm on 67 degrees and now what we need to know is we will get now the dimension for 45 degrees same formula sin 45 sin 45 multiplied by 12 equals uh, 8.48 so we will round up by 8 this is 8 mm 8 mm and now uh, what we will get now is the dimension for 22.5 degrees so our formula is sine 22.5 multiplied by 12 our uh, cutback equals so here is 5 degrees uh, 4.59 it's uh, nearest 10 is 5 degree and here is our zero so now we have already what we got is 12 mm 8 mm 11 mm 8 mm and 5 mm so this uh, dimension we will uh, uh, transfer into five. now we will uh, lay out what the value we got from the formula so we will lay out it into pipe now uh, we have uh, 178 total length of the pipe now i am marking and i will uh, 
put a uh, wrap around on this uh, pipe this is only the pipe that we need so now I am dividing the pipe into half so we divide it into two after dividing into two we will divide it into four uh, this is the uh, idea to make it uh, our division uh, equal so from from four we will divide it into half to make it a uh, uh, eight division and uh, once we have already eight division we will again divide it into half so in total we will have be having a uh, uh, 16 division so now I am dividing it and uh, I'm just uh, making line and after that uh, we divide it into 16 our uh, measurement for division uh, is 17 mm and now I am dividing it into 4 we get the measurement for M1 for M2 and M2 M2 is the two sides and the M1 are the parts in the, at the center so now I am marking top bottom and the, another one is the two sides center line and also we will put the mark here with the corresponding degree from uh, 22.5, 45, 67, up to 90 and then uh, go, go back again to 0 degrees that is uh, our guide to easily mark our uh, back point and now we are uh, marking the back point so, uh, our marking is from uh, left side to right side so it will be perfectly marked now uh, once we mark we will uh, we will put all marking we will trace up the dotted line with a flexible for this I use a uh, flexible uh, axle blade so and for marking for the cut uh, marking I use the edge of the chisel so it will be smaller the marking will be smaller because our marking is too big it uh, will not be perfect for uh, cutting so now uh, our marking is ready for cutting we will do cutting now we are uh, almost done with cutting and uh, we will check uh, if our uh, elbow degree is uh, incorrect. And now uh, yeah, yes, now we will ready cut and uh, not yet clean, not yet grind the cutting edge. So we will uh, mark one two three so it will not be interchanged with that another piece so i think it's so uh, good so now uh, we will go we will proceed to pit up we will pit up the piece to know if it is uh, correct In uh, tacking, we should uh, check all the marking if it's intersect uh, each other. So to avoid the uh, rolling or uh, it will affect the uh, degree. It's perfectly 90 degrees. And as you see, it's uh, perfectly 90 degrees. And it is actual uh, elbow, and uh, also 
uh, it is uh, exactly same as take up of a uh, regular uh, uh, 90 degrees elbow long ranges so now we are finished uh, fabricating our elbow and uh, we see uh, it's uh, perfectly 90 degrees and uh, I hope you learned something from this video and uh, as you see it's uh, easy uh, and uh, anyone can uh, learn about this but uh, uh, you know by learning this uh, we will just practicing uh, making just remember our uh, uh, formulas we use here and uh, uh, this formula are applicable in all sizes of pipe if you are uh, interested with piping you are a pipe eater or you are uh, aspiring pipe eater and uh, you are uh, related to this uh, topic uh, you please uh, subscribe and share this video to other uh, friends so the, uh, they will be learned also about the how to make the elbow so that's it and uh, thank you for watching. God bless.